day was a complete waste. I feel fantastic today. I slept through my alarm today. Waking up today was a bit harder. Benjamin Franklin was a fascinating man. Besides being a founding father, he invented a lot of different things that we see or use in our day-to-day -day lives, such as lightning rod, I didn't know that, bifocal glasses, and swimming fins. Benjamin Franklin also had a very specific daily routine, which he shared in his autobiography. He does actually say that he is not following that routine himself day to day so despite the fact that I'm very impressed with his discipline he is also a human who has their own flexibilities and potentially flaws but nonetheless um, his schedule was extremely appealing to me because of its simplicity and because of its focus on deep work over the past year or so, I've been striving to find a routine that just works for me, that allows me to focus deeply and feel like I am more or less on a structured schedule and my output is really high. And I think the way to achieve high output is, have, is to have that predictability in the routine and to be able to focus deeply. And that's the reason why I even stumbled and got so excited and interested in trying out Ben Franklin's routine, because it honestly stems from something that that I am personally very passionate and excited about, which is kind of reduce my own procrastination and being a high output person through the ability of to focus deeply and to follow predefined routines. I do know this about myself that if I do live in a more or less predictable routine, I am actually able to accomplish more. And that's the reason why I'm chasing uh, finding the perfect routine for myself so, so much. Okay, I just wanna read out the routine to you so you know what it's all about. It's super simple from five to eight he essentially wakes up um, he showers he writes in his journal and then he prepares for the day and then there is a very important part of the day which is him asking himself um, what good shall I do today a very simple question kind of focusing on what do I want my highlight of the day to be and then from 8 to 12 he has his first deep work block and he literally just works without distractions from 12 to 2 he reads and overlooks his accounts and dines. Um, so by overlooking the accounts, I assume that he's just doing shallow work, administrative work. From two to six, he has another deep work block. And from six to nine, he puts things in their places, um, has supper, music or diversion or conversation, and then examines the day and asks himself a closing question of the day, which is what good have I done today? So that's just a reflection on whether you were able to accomplish um, and achieve that highlight of the day. And um, by music reading, I'm just assuming that he relaxed, he had dinner, he maybe, I don't know, listened to music if he went to a salon um, he conversed with people and generally just kind of wound down uh, one modification that i'm going to make is i'm gonna insert workouts into likely the morning portion of the day so that's something that ben does not specify maybe working out back back then wasn't as pop popular as it is right now so just wanted to call that out and then from nine o'clock to 5 a.m um benjamin slept so he got seven hours of sleep which is not too bad i'm a little concerned about that portion um, Actually, I'm concerned about two portions. I'm concerned about getting seven hours of sleep because I know that I do better on seven and a half to eight hours of sleep. And I'm also concerned about waking up at 5 a.m. and going to bed at 9 p.m. because it's not currently um, what I'm used to right now. I usually go to bed around 11 or 12 and wake up around seven or eight. So that would be quite an adjustment, but I'm optimistic. It's uh, 5.30 a.m. right now and um, I already washed, prepared for the day and I'm about to cook myself a quick breakfast and in parallel do a quick workout. I'm just gonna parallel task um, while I'm waiting for the breakfast. But overall, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I definitely do not wake up at 5 a.m. However, I didn't sleep very well today generally so I've been kind of up on and off since um, 3.30 a.m. So I feel pretty energized and fine. Definitely dark um, still but I'm excited for the day. Breakfast took um, a lot a lot longer to make, um, but I did manage to get a 25 minute workout in while I was cooking it. Plus, it looks delicious. Um, it's already 6.15, so I have an hour and 45 minutes left until I work, and I'm gonna do some reading and some journaling. And ask myself the question, uh, what should I do today, like Ben Franklin does. I'm about to start my 8 a.m. portion of the day, deep work block one. 
Um, I do need to focus on tasks that do require a little more thinking and not on like admin work. And um, it's already almost 7.30, I still have to write um, out my answer to the question what good shall I, shall I do today? I've got my coffee for the day. I am gonna write out some tasks and also write um, and review some tasks for my assistants that I just recently uh, hired and start my 8 a.m. portion of the day. I just finished my first, uh, what was supposed to be a deep work block from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And to be honest, it didn't go as expected at all. Uh, first of all, I was very distracted in the first part of it. And then in the second part of the block, I actually had a, um, a Finnish lecture slash a Finnish like goodbye party of the YouTuber course that I was taking. I was taking this amazing course by Ali Abdal who's an amazing creator and you guys should check out his YouTube channel and we've already had a 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, last lecture scheduled so there was nothing I could do about it so as a result you know I had a pretty distracted deep work block uh, not quite as deep as I expected but I'm excited for the rest of the day done with my 12 to 2 block um, this one actually went pretty well I just had a bunch of calls I'm uh, interviewing candidates for a launch house a part of which I was um, in October November so some Essentially, I have all those calls pre-scheduled for the 12 to 2 block. It's not deep work, it's not requiring a lot of my men mental effort. So I did all of that and then I uh, went to an ice cream store to grab some ice cream and that's about it. So it definitely went much better than the first block. Yay! A friend of mine um, gave me this advent calendar for Christmas. So now almost every evening and sometimes even during the day, I make myself some tea because this is uh, the last portion of the day. Um, so from 6 to 10 where I'm relaxing, uh, doing some music, I'm making myself some tea. I'm very much enjoying the fact that a part of this 6 to 10 is um, something musical because I'm trying to get back into my opera practice, so this is a perfect excuse for me to uh, practice regularly and every day. And I'll drink my tea. One thing I had to do uh, during my admin hour from 12 to 2 today is pick up my new camera. So even in this video, you guys will see me switching to this new camera. I decided to go with Sony. I still have to unpack it. Um, I just got it today. I'm super excited about it. I also got a really cool lens for it that creates the blurry background. So um, currently I'm filming on a Canon and I decided to switch back to a Sony. So we'll see how crisp this new camera is. Waking up today was a bit harder. The reality is that if you want to wake up early, outside of you, of course, getting used to the time, you also have to get, go to bed on time and get enough sleep. And I went to bed around um, 10 or 5, 10, 10. So, you know, Franklin go, went to bed according to his schedule at 10. And then I probably only fell asleep at 10.30 or so. Um, so throughout the night, um, I definitely slept a bit better than the first night around and so it was tougher to wake up. But I'm awake. I can't tell whether I want to eat or not. So I'm probably just gonna make some tea and then just see how I feel. And I'm uh, planning to do some reading and prepare for the day. an amazing 5 to 8 a.m. I finished reading the book. I was reading E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. It was great. Highly recommend to anyone. Um, I caught up on some emails and on some messages on Slack. I took a shower. I drank some tea. Uh, I prepared for the day. I feel like I was really productive. Had a super productive deep work block one of the day, way better than uh, during day one. I actually um, focused on the tasks that I planned out in the morning. I was not distracted. I put my phone away. Uh, however, I am guilty of taking a 10 minute nap 
just now before the 12 o'clock because I did start feeling really, really tired and I felt like if I don't do anything about it, I'm gonna uh, crash for the rest of the day. Um, so this is a lesson for me that going to bed on time is of utmost importance, especially if you're transitioning your sleep schedule as much as I'm doing right now, following this uh, Ben Franklin's daily routine. Um, so I feel fresh, I feel rejuvenated and I'm ready for my 12 to one administrative block. I feel fantastic today. It's 6.30 in the morning. I woke up at five um, and I just felt full of energy. I um, did a workout. I'm gonna do some reading right now and prepping for the day. And I think this is why I'm feeling so good. Yesterday night when I went to sleep and it was about 10, uh, 10 p.m. So I got about seven hours of sleep. I went to bed with this thought. I'm going to have an incredible sleep. I'm happy I'm getting the se these seven hours. I'm gonna feel amazing when I wake up and that's exactly how I feel. Almost done with day three and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty exhausted from block two. I think one of the things is that I'm constantly thinking about the schedule and thinking whether I'm on track and that in and of itself is a little exhausting because your mind kind of has to go back to those checks all the time, just like, am I doing the right thing? Am I on, am I on time? And that in and of itself takes mental effort and men mental strain and so I kind of wish it was a little more fluid and maybe I'll make it a little more fluid where, you know, I know what I need to do um, and I know what blocks, uh, what each block constitutes of, uh, but I'm not like checking in with, with myself all the time and I'm giving myself a little more freedom, like, you know, taking a 10 minute break and, you know, going to grab a snack or just walk around. Despite telling myself yesterday night that I'm so grateful for five hours of sleep, I slept through my alarm today and woke up at 6.30 in the morning instead of five. But it's okay, um, we have a new day. I'm determined to make it productive and I'm about to make myself some tea. I just took a break uh, from working and did a 15 minute run. I'm not a runner, or I guess now I should be saying that I am a runner since I started running. But um, I never really ran, I never enjoyed running. And a week ago I decided to take up on this channel challenge of starting to run. And a week ago I started with, two, with a two minute run. And every day or every other day I was increasing it by two minutes. And just now I did a 15 minute run, woo! Um, I ran 1.67 miles. Wow, I can consider myself a champ, so I feel good. I was kind of getting on a slump of productivity and I convinced myself to go to run because I was thinking that, hey, if you go running, you will feel much better, your mood is gonna be better, and I am feeling better and I'm feeling proud of myself for making myself go, so win for the day. Today was a complete waste. I feel like my productivity went significantly down. I was not able to focus on anything. I yeah, just couldn't follow the deep work blocks. I got very little done. I feel like this is kind of a point of diminishing returns. I've been focusing so hard for the first um, three days and now it's just not that great. So I, I hope that my motivation, my discipline will come back tomorrow and I will feel you know, less, I guess, drained in my ability to focus. Today was a little better. I did do the task of the day, um, but I'm going to bed much later, confession, um, because I just had this really big um, burst of motivation and productivity to write um, some YouTube video scripts because I'm trying to batch record court content more. Um, so I decided, hey, if I feel so inspired and motivated and energetic to write, I should just do it. Um, so it's almost 11.30 now and I'm only going to bed now. But, um, yeah, we'll see what time I wake up tomorrow. I think I might just let myself um, sleep in a little more because otherwise my day is just going to be wasted. I can't believe this is already day six. Uh, today has been going much better than the last two days. I have written out one more video script and I'm about to batch record three videos. So I feel like my focus block number one is going pretty well. So wish me luck.
My two focus work blocks uh, went really well. I just finished recording three videos. I wrote a script for another video. So honestly, I feel kind of accomplished for the day. I'm extremely happy uh, with being able to batch record. This is something that I've been wanting to do for the last few days, but in my focus work, uh, focus blocks, I've kind of been postponing. Um, so I feel accomplished. And also, see how the lighting here is so great? We turn it off. It's dark, um, but I kind of like it anyway. I'm really happy with the setup that I got here. It's really nice. That was certainly an interesting experience and there's a few different things that I've learned um, through following or trying to stick into Ben Franklin's routine, uh, which is one, I feel a lot more primed for actually deep undistracted blocks through the rigidity of Ben Franklin's schedule and the fact that I had to try to follow the blocks twice a day. I also totally see the powers of waking up early, but I don't know if I'm gonna continue waking up at 5 a.m. That's a tad too early. I think 6 a.m. Um, is a reasonable time. I think, you know, that quiet time the, when you can read, when you can journal, when you can, you know, do your affirmations or whatever that is that you're doing, meditating, it's really precious. And I felt, I felt like my day was really starting on a high note after I did those things. So this is something that I definitely want to continue doing and incorporating into my day-to-day -day life. I did find it really tough to follow the 9 to 5 a.m. I almost never actually went to bed at 9 p.m. That was really, really tough. I found that a lot of the times uh, just checking in whether I'm on schedule occupied too much of my mental space and I think just like such strict rigidity of like okay at 12 I'm finishing everything up at 5 I found it really tough I think I'm much more of a fluid person of okay when I'm finished with the task um, I'm done um, I think I need a little more fluidity to the blocks and honestly, maybe that's a problem. Maybe I should force myself to be more rigid. But anyway, I've learned a ton doing this experiment. I've learned about the simplicity of um, focus, of how important it is to have the morning routine and how amazing it is to have those scheduled deep work blocks. I'm, I'm excited to continue in my quest to be more productive um, following these learnings. I'm very impressed with Ben Franklin. I think this is one of the reasons why he achieved so much, he was just a very disciplined person and he was driven he was motivated and excited and curious and if not for the schedule this is one lesson that i'm gonna take away from trying out this experiment just the importance of being excited and curious and enthusiastic about what you do day to day i think that's when the deep work blocks become easier is when you do what you love and what you're passionate about and that would be one of the main lessons that i want you guys to take away but thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it i would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to this channel if you're new here i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day stay productive develop your own routines and see you in the next video